who led the charge for the Celtics, getting a lead and keeping the lead in the fourth quarter. What do you think about Jalen Brown last night? An exciting game, Jacoby, watching terrific athletes perform on an elite level. And as you mentioned, to start the game, you return home, the series is 1-1. So for the Boston Celtics, how do you respond to begin the game? Jalen Brown has 17 points in the four, first quarter. And let me tell you why it was such a game changer. He was making the threes yep. that he continued to improve at since he got drafted. He was being guarded by Draymond Green, and he continued to attack. Yeah, he did. So now when that happens, you see my guy, the truth, <laughs> so very excited. <laughs> and he just can't hide it. And my guy Jada and my guy Mills was there. So it's like a festive building, right? And Jalen Brown came out and set the tone. And the Boston Celtics, from an energy standpoint and a discipline to the game plan standpoint, just came out with more intellect and more effort, Jacoby. Yep. They came out with more effort to start the game, and it was evident by the start. Well, one contributor that they didn't have in Game 2 was Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart had two points in Game 2, and in Game 3, he was all over the place, playmaking, scoring, defending, switching. It was so important to have him going for the Celtics. Do you think they can continue to rely on him to be the contributor he was last night? They're going to need him to be. And when Tatum <clears throat> Brown and Marcus Smart score over 20, they're virtually unbeatable. Yep. Because they're still going to play lockdown D where you can't hunt anyone per se. But yet Marcus Smart, as the starting point guard, only had two points in the previous game. And so when he comes out and he's able to make shots to go along with his defensive tenacity, that makes the Boston Celtics offensive attack look vastly better and different. Absolutely. And they're getting team wins. Like we're looking at Jason Tatum, some of his highlights, but since sort of game six when they're facing elimination against the Bucks, when Tatum, I believe, had 46 points and had a huge fourth quarter to keep them alive in this postseason, he hasn't really been a superstar level performer. Can they continue to win games against the Warriors without Tatum kind of getting 35 and a bunch of points and really being a superstar guy to carry the team? Well, to win this series, he's going to have to score 30 at least twice. Mm. Not many players that make it to this level get the opportunity to put up those kind of numbers, but that's what it's going to take for the Celtics to actually win this series. But the one thing that I appreciate about Jason Tatum, he made an in-game improvement. There were so many times he was driving to the basket and missed short shots, yep. layups, buckets inside of the restricted area, and then he found his angles. He started making a couple of jump shots. He was confident, he was aggressive. But this is what I like. When he started to find his angles to start make his layups, you see he had an extra little bounce on this game. And then that confidence is something he was able to build off of at different points throughout the game. Of course, we're gonna highlight Brown and Tatum and Smart that had big scoring games, but the, the Celtics won this game in the trenches with the rebounds. It was one thing that they did, just points in the paint, like the, what they did around the restricted area and what their bigs were able to do really just helped them solidify defensive possessions and keep offensive possessions continuing. What do you think about what they did around the rim? There's a reason why the Golden State Warriors drafted Wiseman this year. To Two years be ago. taller. That's the one thing the Golden State Warriors are not, a tall basketball team. And you see Robert Williams grabbing rebounds over the top of Draymond's head just because he's taller. Same with Looney. They did a good job of getting Steph Curry in foul trouble. So yep. he ended up being on his heels early when he had three fouls. Tatum took advantage of Curry. Horford took advantage of Curry. Smart took advantage of Curry. And that play right there, he bullied him. Look, that was like boxing. You see how he slumped over, he got hit in the, went, went smart hitting with that forearm shiver. And so what ends up happening is like a boxing match. Body blow, body blow, body blow. That's the KO right there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.